I wear I bro what's up twitch twitcher I wear or not wear I've been taking cold showers for like two months now I I literally multiple occasions in my discord I'm like bro cold showers are the best cold showers have been saving my life I love it I love it biohacking lab in my garage no <laughs> maybe who's that oh sean lawless who's that just dirty make it rain i don't like to do a lot of porn podcasts because i think everyone thinks that podcasting is cool and like a lot of people a lot of people think they're good at podcasting Here's the thing, they're good at entertaining and they're good at crowd control because a lot of podcasting is just people yelling over people. Um, my version of podcasting and the reason why I don't do a lot of them is because a lot of people have lost the idea or the art of interviewing. Um, if you wanna have me on your podcast and you haven't researched whether I've answered the same boring, tired ass questions or you ask the same industry questions when you know I've already blurbed everything I can out to the world and you're not doing anything that's actually going to draw viewers in that's unique or new to your topic of conversation when you don't have basic understanding of interviewing no I don't do those podcasts and I actually don't like to listen to those podcasts everybody has a fucking porn podcast everybody has a podcast no no I hate it I fucking hate it Fuck it. No. No, I don't like Joe Rogan. I absolutely do not like him. He's against sex work. No, I don't like Joe Rogan. He's against sex work. Dated somebody who's good friends with him. He's against sex work. He's a fucking... He's a douchebag dude, bro. He's... A, whatever. He's the same as every other douchebag dude. He's just high on his own dick. Okay. Exactly. He's a tool. Most women think he's a tool. You grew up on Howard Stern in the morning. I grew up with Howard Stern. Howard Stern is, I didn't like the uh, interview I did with him um, because he manipulated me in the interview. But Howard Stern is a beautiful interviewer and a smart interviewer. But if you want to hear actual good podcasting, um, mm, I can post some links in Discord of the people I like. I don't listen to any current podcasters. Joe Rogan thinks he's a god and he thinks he's this shit and he only talks about how, how, I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm the same way, but I think I'm open to conversation and I'm open to, I'm open to discussion and I don't think he's open to it. Exactly, Dave. Exactly. Exactly. Here's the thing. If you want to have a good podcast or you want to have a good you want to have a good radio show, you have to start you have to start understanding your viewers, right? You have to you have to be the radio show of your consumers. A lot of these people make a radio show, like for instance, Joe Rogan, his radio show is all about him and his views of life and his understanding of life and the money that he has in his life. You can't listen to his show and, and feel that there's singular emotions or feel that you can live on the same wavelengths as him because he thinks of himself, I think, as more than or a god then and he treats his conversation as such it's very egotistical and if he resonates with you and you find things that you like about him that's cool too but that's how i view him i love that no joel love that
I know. Sometimes I just read Castle. I really like um arm. I think it's armchair um with Dax Shepard. I really love Dax Shepard's podcast. I think it's really good. He he will have actors or celebrities on that um, I've never heard them speak on such things and divulge into such emotions. I think Dax Shepard is one of the best interviewers and podcasts out there right now, currently. Dax Shepard. Uh, it's called Armchair, right? Armchair? I actually listened to his news one uh, two weeks ago. Yeah, he's married to Veronica Mars. I'm waiting for Elon Musk to start a podcast. I won't go into my thoughts on Elon. I do think he's great, but I have a lot of contradictory thoughts. I question those thoughts now. I've never actually listened to Hot Ones, so I have no idea. I mean, I think so. The beta loves his new home. He's got the heater on right now. I turned the heater on for a little bit at night. You want to talk with me about Elon? Oh, shit. Okay, let me pee. And then I'm ordering myself nachos today. It's my day of nacho day. So I'm going to order myself nachos. I'm going to pee. And then if you want, we will talk about Elon. But here's the thing, guys. You can get possessive of your ideals. And you can get um, upset about your ideals or contradictions. But you can't get aggressive. If we talk about this, you cannot get aggressive. You have to understand that you can't get aggressive. Okay. <laughs> It's okay if you love him and it's okay if I don't and it's okay if you don't and it's okay if I do but please do not get aggressive about it I'm gonna pee I no I I worked out so I actually went for a run this morning with my dogs it was only 2.7 miles but it was still a run and then when I get offline today I am going to uh, do yoga a yoga class I have a live yoga class at 2 a.m. so I think I'm gonna get off before that but I'm joining my friend in New York who's doing a live yoga, who's doing a yoga class. So, so I'm eating nachos and I don't have to justify or explain working out. I shouldn't have even said any of that. I'm just eating nachos today because fuck it. 